Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I have another hair tutorial here at Chop Theory Salon. I am so excited for today's transformation because it's actually quite a bit different than the techniques that I usually do here on my channel. I'm usually always bringing people lighter and brighter and today we're actually bringing her darker. So I'm super excited for today's transformation. This is my client Isabella and she has not been in the salon in about 18 months so her hair has grown up quite a bit. As you guys can see, she has a little bit more of like a warm chocolatey brown color. Um, and that's actually a leftover auburn red with some balayage pieces that we did in there last time. So about a year and a half ago, that's what she had and this is what it's faded out to. So today's video, we are taking her darker and very dimensional. So I'm super excited to show you guys what I have in store. So for today's formula, we're mixing up two different bowls. So for the first one is the all over color and I'm using Kenra color. It's my favorite permanent line to use. So I'm going to be mixing up about a half a tube of 4N, a half a tube of 4B, and then about a quarter of a tube of 3N, maybe just a little bit more than that. So I'm gonna be mixing that up with 10 volume, of course, since we're just depositing on her hair. Um, and then for the highlight, we're using Schwarzkopf Igora Vario Blonde Plus. You guys know that's my favorite lightener. And we're just gonna be mixing it up with 10 volume because I don't want a whole lot of lift. Um, just enough to get through that red auburn shade, but since it will be sitting on for quite a bit, we're definitely not gonna want to put in like 20 or 30 volume. Like I said, we don't wanna get her platinum blonde, so there's no need to put anything higher than 10 volume. So I'm gonna mix that up and put a little bit of Olaplex, of course, to protect the hair while we're lightening it. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're going to start sectioning her hair and as you guys know I usually like to do a headband section to separate the front and the back so I'm going to take those front two sections and just clip them out of my way and with this specific technique I like to start on the back of the head just because it gives me a lot more control as I'm moving my way forward to the front of the head and you guys will see what I'm talking about more when I go throughout the whole entire process of this. And what we're gonna start doing to begin this technique is basically do a root retouch with that darker formula that we mixed up. So because that darker formula is taking up about 80% of the color within this balayage, it doesn't matter if you get some of the sections down to go about one inch from the root or two inches from the root. The only thing I would say is just to take smaller sections and make sure that you're evenly saturating the root so there's no splotchiness or uneven color. Starting the balayage technique, we're going to begin down on the nape of her neck, taking horizontal sections and moving our way up the back of her head. Now this specific section right here, you guys will see that I'm taking that darker formula and I'm pulling through all the way on the ends of her hair. 
Now, as we move our way up the hair, because this is dimensional, we are going to be using different shades and different colors, which means different techniques. So the biggest tip that I can give for you guys as you're moving your way up is to be very clean with this. So like you guys can see, I am wiping my hands after every single section because I don't want to mix that darker shade with the lightener and vice versa. You don't want to mix the lightener into the darker shade. So you guys will see that I am using Saran Wrap for this specific technique. You could always use foils, but I feel like with Saran Wrap, you have a lot more surface area to work with and you can kind of customize the Saran Wrap to fit your client's needs. So whether she has super long hair or super short hair, you won't use as much. Um, and with the longer hair, it does make it easier just because foils are kind of um, not all one size, but they're kind of minimized on how long or how thick and wide they can be. So with Saran Wrap, you can once again just customize it. Now you guys will see with this second section, I'm doing a different technique. So I'm taking that low light, darker formula that we used, and I'm only dragging it down halfway from the root, not all the way down to her ends, but only halfway. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because we want some of that natural color. So we're working with three different shades here. So we're working with her natural that she has in there, or the leftover color. We're also working with the lightener to create a lot lighter of a dimension. And then we're working with that darker shade to create that dark dimension. In So with this third section, I'm going to show you guys the third technique. What we're going to be doing is taking the darker formula that we used at the root and dragging it about halfway down on this section. Now with the second technique, you guys saw that I left the ends of her hair bare with the leftover color. Now with this one, this third technique, we're going to be taking the lightener only after you've wiped your hands. So you guys will see I'm cleaning my hands off right here. So I'm not transferring any of that darker shade onto the ends of her hair. Um, and I'm grabbing the ends of her hair, I'm going to take the lightener, and I'm just going to melt it up into that darker formula. Now this is just going to give a really nice kind of seamless melt, and you guys will see with the three different colors, like I said, the dark shade that we mixed up, her leftover color from her previous hair session, and then this blonde, and that's just going to give us maximum amount of blend, and then also just give that really nice pop of blonde on the ends, by adding in the lightener with this third section and this third technique. I know that's a lot of information to take in at one time with the three different techniques, and I hope that I explained that good enough for you guys. I'm so sorry if you're confused any throughout this video. Please comment down below and I'll try and explain better throughout text, but I hope that watching this video, not in slow motion, but in real time, it can kind of show you guys um, exactly what I'm doing and what I'm talking about. But while I'm working my way up the head, you guys will see that I'm not going in any specific pattern. So this is completely up to you. Of course, it's going to be different with every single client, but I like this technique just because it is such a beautiful way to blend all different shades and give a lot of dimension to the hair. So you could be using the first technique where you take the darkest formula all the way throughout the hair, you know, more times than you add the lighter pieces. You could use the first technique and the second technique only, or you could just use the second technique and the third technique. It's whatever you guys want to do. But in general, I was just super excited to show you guys this technique because I feel like there's not a lot of videos here on YouTube where us hairstylists are showing you how to darken the root at the same time as lightening the hair as well. A lot of the time when we are showing balayage videos, we normally just show the natural virgin um, root color along with adding lighter balayages. Now with this one, of course, we're going darker, but also applying lighter shades in there too. So I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am so far.
So now that we finish with the back of her hair, you guys will see that we're on the side sections. And I told you guys that I like to start on the back for this specific technique because as you guys will see, I am taking actually vertical sections instead of horizontal on the side of her head and just moving it back away from her face. And this just gives me maximum control and then also blends really, really well instead of doing horizontal sections where I feel like you have to work a lot harder to blend. And then it also isn't uncomfortable for the client. I feel like this because it is kind of pulling away from her face. She's not uncomfortable at all. She doesn't have anything tucking on top of her ears. And I just personally feel like I work a lot better going away from the face. So completely up to you guys, but that is specifically why I like to work from the back all the way up to the front. Now that we've let that color sit and process for 25 minutes, I'm gonna mix up the toner, and this is the Redken Shade DQ, equal parts 7N and AVB. Now the reason I'm going with AVB in there is because I wanna kick out a lot of the breasts that lift it out. As you guys know, she did have red previously in her hair, so when you lift red, you usually get orangey tones. Um, we definitely wanna kick those out because she doesn't want it to be super warm. She wants it more on the neutral side. So that's why we're adding the AVB and then the neutral from the seven. After the shampoo and toner, we did go in and do a trim. I just took about an inch and a half to two inches off to make sure that her ends were nice and healthy and refreshed since she hasn't gotten a haircut or color in about 18 months. And so now we are going to use the Babyliss 1 and 1 4 inch curling iron. This is my favorite to style out nice beachy loose waves. And I'm finishing off with some Lanza Healing Oil hairspray and some Lanza Healing Oil. So this is a finished look to this balayage technique. Look how beautiful and stunning her hair is. It is so shiny, it's so sleek. It has that perfect depth in there between the darkness and the lighter pieces. It's not too light so they don't pop out too harshly. They just blend in perfectly. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and learned something new. Let me know what else you guys wanna see down in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.